Today I'm going to be showing you some photos from the King James the Sixth and First Part Three episode of History Shelf. History Shelf is available wherever you listen to your podcasts. This is Thomas Howard, first Earl of Suffolk. He was the Lord Chamberlain that searched the Houses of Parliament during the Gunpowder Plot, and he had a lot of power during James's reign. This is Guy Fawkes' lantern. This is Sir Edward Coke. He was the prosecutor during the Gunpowder Plot trial. This is Anthony Maria Brown, 2nd Viscount Montague. He was one of the Catholics that was punished during the aftermath of the gunpowder plot. This is Dudley Carlton, and he was arrested during the gunpowder plot because the gunpowder plot plotters had used his vault to store their gunpowder, but he was released and no charges were brought against him. This is Bonfire Night. This is a Guy Fox mask. This is Robert Carr, first Earl of Somerset. He was one of James's favorites and lovers. This is Henry Howard, first Earl of North Anson. He was a supporter of James. This is Charles Howard, first Earl of Nottingham. He had a lot of power during James's reign. This is William Knowles, first Earl of Banbury. He also had a lot of power. This is Frances Howard. She was the wife of Robert Carr. And you can see here that she is wearing a plunging neckline. And that was something that she did often. That was just her style. This is Robert Devereux, Frances Howard's first husband. This is Thomas Overbury. He was a good friend of Robert Carr. And he was the one that Frances Howard had murdered. This is Thomas Bilson. He was one of the extra commissioners that granted Frances Howard her annulment to Robert Devereux. This is Gervais Howes. He was hanged for Thomas Overbury's murder because he knew that Thomas was being poisoned, but he didn't tell anyone. This is Ann Turner. She was the one that gave Francis Howard the poisoned enema that killed Thomas Overbury. This is Sir Ralph Winwood. He was the Secretary of State that told James that Thomas Overbury had been murdered and that Robert Carr and Francis Howard may have had something to do with it.